In today's video, we're taking a look at creating a media kit landing page on your WordPress website for you podcasters out there who might be selling advertising, looking for sponsorship, connecting with other podcasts to be guests or collaborate on content. And we're going to use a plugin called Publisher Media Kit. It's free inside the WordPress repo. Let's dive right in. Okay, before we dive into showing off the plugin, I just want to talk about why I chose the Publisher Media Kit plugin. Uh, number one, it is the Publisher Media Kit plugin. <laughs> it has all of the predetermined Gutenberg blocks. Uh, if you are building out a Media Kit page, all of that critical thinking is already made for you. They put it uh, in patterns. You can just drop the pattern on a page. It makes life really easy. So if you're looking for the easiest route without having to critically think about which blocks should I use, Publisher Media Kit works a treat. Number two, it's developed by Tenup, which is a well-respected WordPress development uh, agency. So you know that they will be investing in the plugin. They'll be maintaining it. Code should be good, though I do I did run into one little bug, which is a little weird for Tenup to ship. Uh, but you know that they will invest in uh, the health and wellness of this plugin for years to come because one would imagine they use this for their big media uh, customers as well. There's a list on the plugin page that says theme compatibility. In today's example, I'm using the Cadence theme. I've been testing that out to build out a podcaster site. It lists a bunch of themes that they're compatible with. As long as you're using a theme that is well-coded, you should have no problems. And it, take that with a grain of salt because every single theme is different. Uh, there's always different lines of code and potential conflicts. So just check with your theme on a test page before you decide to go all in on using this plugin. Although you should be pretty good. Let's drop these patterns right onto our blank media kit page by going to the add a Gutenberg thing <laughs> icon or the block inserter icon top left. Click that. Uh, the blocks will display by default. We want the patterns. That's how this plugin is really most effective. We'll click on the patterns and expand the drop down to publisher media kit. This will show all of the available patterns to us right here in the left hand tray. Uh, like I'm might have mentioned before, two of these previews are not working, uh, but the blocks themselves, they do work. So I'm just gonna go down and add all of these patterns to this blank page, and then we'll review them on the front end. You'll see them working here, but we'll review them on the front end and discuss them. So let's go Media Kit, Cover, Audience Profiles, Five Column Statistics, Why Choose Digital, Ad Specs, packages. There's one more at the bottom, which is a small call to action, which I can't get to. Uh, but first, let's go ahead and hit update, and then we'll preview that on the front end. So I'll just scroll down to the bottom really quick. You can see that just a few clicks, I have filled out this entire sort of media kit type of page. We have that cover right at the top of the page. This would arguably, arguably be whatever you want it to be, that call to action, advertise now, connect with us for sponsorship, the best show ever. You have some kind of call to action that entices people and that, that button that they can click on to go to a contact page so that they can reach out to you. The next section uh, is the Our Packages section. And again, this is just predetermined styles of how one might present uh, paid for packages. So you can see here, package one, two, and three. You can have your different features in there. You can have your different descriptions. Uh, totally up to you on what you wanna present and put it in, this, in this space. Same goes for the digital ad spec section. It's actually a nice little block because it has this little filtering feature so you can kind of uh, shrink down to the uh, to the ad spots that you want to sell. But this could be your you know, advertising for download counts. This could be your banner ads. This could be information on what it would cost to uh, advertise in your newsletter. Totally up to you of what type of content you put in here. Just nice, nicely designed, well formatted, ready to go. Same goes for the, what I call the features and benefits section. So if you wanted to present any kind of real call out feature or benefit for sponsoring your show, you would do that with these blocks. You have these nice little icons that you can play with. Uh, it's spaced really well, has a call to action button, looks great. You know, if you need more columns, add more columns. That's really the, the benefit of using Gutenberg. Uh, the Big number banner, <laughs> that's the name that I'm giving it, where here you would fill out maybe your download count, uh, maybe your social audi uh, social media audience following, all of the big numbers that gets the attention, that gets the attraction. And maybe even in this case, 
you might argue, well, this should be right at the top. And I, and I would agree with that. So I, would, I might select uh, that group and bring this right to the top. Uh, with Gutenberg, you can just click the up arrow and bring that right up. And I would put that right under my, my media kit cover. And then I could, you know, play with, play with the numbers and add those numbers there. Probably the same thing goes with the uh, audience profile. You might argue that that should be up high too, because what the audience profile might indicate to a sponsor is whether or not that whatever product or service that they want to sponsor with you, uh, that your podcast has the audience that's great for their product. It makes no sense for somebody to be advertising on your show if the people listening to your show would never buy their particular product. And that's the that's the flexibility that this plugin it gets you. You know, you can play with this stuff, modify it as you see fit, play with either the layout uh, or the content. You know, you can add, you know, another line here. You could say, you know, whatever. This is mid-roll. This one's outro. And this one's pre-roll, right? The idea is it's all designed for you. There's no real other critical thinking, uh, you know, that you have to do. Uh, it's very easy to to approach, uh, very easy to, you know, customize. At the end of the day, the Media Kit plugin is, is fantastic. I'll leave that link in the description below if you want to play with it and add it to your site. Are you building a Media Kit for your WordPress site? Uh, what are you doing? What, what other plugins are you using? Are you using Elementor? Are you using Gutenberg? Are you using Beaver Builder? You know, what I would do with this is I would also watch my other video on building a media kit PDF that you can use to email to somebody. So I would take some of the same data, put it into a PDF, and then email it to potential sponsors uh, after you have a follow-up call or after you have a sales call. You can build a nice little media kit using Canva, and I showed that uh, in a, another video that I did. I will link that up in the description as well. Thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want more. Talk to you soon.